Here I'm going to draw a graph to explain to you what this linear thing means. What does it mean to have a linear relationship between the numbers of balls in the lot and the numbers defective? So let me call y to be the number of balls in the lot. And then the x to be number defective. You can switch the two, but it doesn't really matter. So since this is linear, that means the equation is going to be represented by a line. And what this actually means is this, so I have the number of defective as x, so 6 is actually the x-coordinate, and 350 is the y. And then here we have 14 and 475. So this actually means that this 6 and 350 is going to lay somewhere on this line. So maybe say 6 and 350 would be here. And it means also that the 14 and 475 is also going to be on the, this line. So let's say somewhere maybe around here. So that's what this whole linear relationship means. These two are going to be on this line. And also this is going to be on the line as well. And we're trying to find out the x-coordinate that goes with the 650 as the y. So when you do the problem, you don't actually have to draw the graph or anything like that, but this is just to explain to you what the linear relationship means. So the way to do this is to actually find out what the equation of this line is in the form y equals mx plus b. And we're going to do that by substituting x and b, uh, x and y for these two points. So we have 475 equals m times 14 plus b. And the other one is going to be 350 equals m times 6 plus b. So here we don't know the, we don't know the equation, but we actually have two points. So by setting up this system of two equations, we can find out m and b. Here I'm going to subtract, so the b goes away, and we have left 8m equals 125. Divide the 8 over, m is going to be 8 and 45, 8 times 5 is 40, so 15.5 is m. And then we find b by plugging it in here. So 15.5 times 6 is going to be 5630, 5630, uh, that's going to be 33, and then there's 3 more, 93. Alright, so B is 93. And then here I can write out this equation, now we know what it is. So it's going to be Y equals 15.5 plus 93. 15.5X plus 93. So to, to kind of explain this in more of an intuitive way, what does this actually mean? This means that when you have, when you have 93 in the lot, there's going to be zero defective. And once you go up beyond 93, for every 15.5 you add into the lot, there is going to be one defective. So that's what the m equals 15.5 mean. It means that Every 15.5 increase in the lot, there's going to be one more defective. And B equals 93, meaning 90, anything 93 and below, there are going to be zero defective. Now, for the last step, we, only, we simply have to put in 650 for Y. So we have 650 equal 15.5 times X plus 93. Here, X is going to be... Six hundred and fifty minus ninety three over, and then divide fifteen point five over. Here we have thirty five point nine four. And I guess since you can't really have 
a a fraction of a defective ball, maybe you could say is 36. I'm not sure what would work with one in this case, but you can try both. <laughs> 